back and hitting again, but just because I haven't been hitting much doesn't mean I've been getting work. Uh, we've been working real hard down there, and I think this spring's been really good for the D-line because we're working harder than we've ever worked before. When, when you say bags, what do you mean by that? Bag drills, flipping our hips, just w working different drills with coaches. And what do you get out of that? Um, just <laughs> as much as we make it, you know, as hard as we go, we, it's, a, it's a lot of pass rushing work. Joey, when you win a national championship and you're a first team All-American, what else is it? Um, just keep improving because obviously I could do better. Um, I could always improve my game and we could win again, so it's always a goal. Where can you definitely get better do you, as you look back on last year? Where, where, where do you need improvement? Uh, I can't really pick one one spot of my game that I could get better at because I, I think I could improve it every part of my game, and, and that's the plan, not just working on one thing, but getting better in every aspect of the game. You're going to have the tree in Buckeye Grove, and you're going to be you know, part of the national championship team forever. Do you think about legacy at all in this point in your career, whether it's in the records books or just doing things that will help you be remembered here? Um, not really individually. I just, I just want this team to be remembered as something great, and we definitely will for last year. But um, new team, new year, and uh, we're, we're trying to repeat, obviously. Joey, one of the things that, that Urban has harped on the past several months has been defensive line, not necessarily the starting group, but the depth. Yeah. How big a deal have you all tried to make of that? The fact that he has talked about that yeah, pretty last, regularly. Last year we we didn't feel too comfortable with putting uh, some backups in. Obviously, we had um, we had Tommy to go in there, and we really didn't have many other people we felt comfortable putting in the game. But this year is a completely different feel. We have a bunch of guys ready to go, a bunch of ends playing really well right now. And the inside guys, we got Joel Hale back from the O-line. He was doing great. But um, yeah, and we're all we're all in such great shape that we'll, we'll be ready to rotate. What does Joel bring? What does Joel bring to the table? Uh, just a just the passion and energy, and how much he's improved under Coach Johnson just in this last couple of weeks of spring is crazy. He's in great shape and. Uh, yeah, we're really excited to have him out there. As a defensive end, do you, when you want to incorporate maybe a new move or something, do you actually practice it out here or do you work on it on your own, maybe in your room? Um, <laughs> yeah, the same, I mean, keep it secret. walking around the streets, I feel like if we see any other D linemen walking around the streets, they'll just be flipping their hips and using their hands on people walking down the yeah. sidewalk or walls and everything. So uh, it's pretty much in your it's pretty much in your mind 24/7. So you're always working it. Seriously, I yeah, mean you, seriously. you're thinking about new ways to do things. Yeah, every yeah. every time we run into each other in the hallway, we always flip against each other pretty where, much every single time. Where's the strangest place you ever thought of a new move? Um, not really new moves, but uh, it'll be random out at night, and there'll be two people walking in a row, and I'll flip on one, and flip on the other, and just keep walking. And your reaction is. Uh, yeah. Probably a little scared or shocked. <laughs> Joey, will the will the shrug return this season, or will it be something new? It's, no, it's got to return, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's going to retire it. No, no. At least one more year. You thought the hair was sacred too. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a, kind of sad, but I like it. Heading into a season where you're being talked about as you know a top draft prospect, how do you deal with those expectations? Uh, not really thinking about it much. I'm just I have my my goals set, and it's just to get better and to be a great team again this year. And uh, I feel like if I just go out and work every day, everything will fall into place. Do you read any of that stuff? Um, I, I obviously hear about it and see it around, but it doesn't really get to my head. Joey, when you say that you can improve 